Hello everyone, welcome back to the .NET office. In this video, we are going to discuss about the decorators in Angular 15. So like the decorator is basically important part of the Angular application, either you are working on any version of the Angular, so decorator is the important part of that application. So if we talk about the decorator, so these are the core concept of the Angular. It's a feature of TypeScript and implemented as in function. Now, if we talk about like how we can identify a decorator, so basically it contain a prefix called at the rate symbol. So when you will go in the Angular application, so like for an example, ng module we are having. So it is has the prefix like uh, at the rate plus. So like basically what it is, it is a decorator. Now, if I will go on the uh, like for an example, if I will go on the component side. So let's go on the component side. So component is also contained at the end. So it is also a basically a decorator. So any like which is uh, start or the prefix contained at the end is basically a decorator. Now the next thing decorator are functions which return the function and it invoke at runtime means like when I run the angular application. So that time all the decorated uh, invoke. Now, if we'll talk about like the common decorator, which we have in the Angular 15 application. So for an example, first is the ng module, which we discussed in the previous video. So ng module is also a, a decorator because it is start from the at the rate. Next is the component. So when we are going to create any component, so that is also a decorator. So now if you will go here, so component is basically start from the at the rate. So it is a decorator similar to that. We have the ng module is also a decorator next is the at the rate injectable so injectable is basically comes when we are going to create any services so when we will discuss about the services then i'll show you like every services is basically injectable uh, so that is also a decorator next is the at the rate input and the output so these are the property now for an example if i want to pass the data from one component to the another component then we use at the rate input and at the rate output so that we are going to discuss in the coming videos and apart from that we have the other decorator as well so as we will uh, grow in this tutorial series like we will understand different type of the decorator we are having now if you will talk about the basically like what all are the type of the decorator we have the in the angular then there are basically four type of the decorator we have one is the class decorator that is the at the rate ng module and at the rate component Another is the property, uh, property decorator. So that is the at the rate input and output. If we talk about the method decorator, then we have the at the rate host listener. Now the next is like the parameter decorator. So our parameter like to pass the data into the constructor. So we use the at the rate engine. So as in parameter, like we have this decorator. So basically like, so these are the uh, couple of the decorator we have in the Angular 15 application. So like here we have discussed about the uh, like um, at the rate input output, ng module component. So similar, we have the host listener decorator. So the use of the host listener uh, decorator is basically, it is a decorator that declare a DOM event to listen for and provide a handle method to the uh, runtime. So for that purpose, we uh, use the host listener. So in the future, we are going to discuss about the at the rate host listener decorator as well. And the parameter like as in parameter, if I want to uh, uh, use any decorator, then we can use the at the rate engine. So these all are the uh, decorator we have in the Angular 15. So that's it for this video. If you have any question and doubt, please comment. Thank you.